it's David and Brian from VM Blog, and we're here in San Diego. And we're covering the KubeCon uh, Cloud Native 2019 conference, and here's some of the highlights from the show. Absolutely, and uh, thank you for the time. My name is Jim Capobianco. I'm Director of Product Management for uh, A10's uh, 5G Container Firewall product. And this being a Kubernetes event and a cloud native uh, event, naturally uh, we're showing products that uh, are in that realm. And we're very proud to be showing here at the show a, de a live demonstration, actually, of A10's cloud native container firewall product. Uh, this is an extremely high performance firewall uh, for, of course, the uh, service provider industry, uh, also applicable to um, very uh, high-end enterprise environments. Uh, we're doing actually two demos here at the event. Uh, one of them is uh, at a keynote event, um, at, and that is being done to the Linux Foundation, and the other one's right here in our booth. Both of these demos are uh, actually being performed on top of a real 5G network. Uh, this is a live network, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about that network. And let's just jump into it. Um, the way the network looks, and this is running today, uh, it is actually six nodes, and the primary node, which is the core of the 5G network infrastructure, is actually in Montreal, Canada. And this uh, has the deployment of A10 firewall and our CGNAT network function. Again, all of the deployments of our firewall are cloud-native containers, Docker container systems. Um, the two other nodes that are physical instantiations of network environments are in San Diego, California, right here at the KubeCon event. And the other top appointed presence is in uh, Sofia Antipolis in France. Uh, and then we have three true cloud-native interconnection systems, which are uh, North America East, North America West, and Central Europe as our cloud locations. And they actually have 5G network functions running in those cloud environments. Now the demo that's being done live at the keynote event uh, uh, at Kubernetes uh, KubeCon 2019 is one where they're going to be doing live 5G mobile calls end-to-end -end between San Diego and Sofia Antipolis. And what actually is going to be happening is that uh, obviously when they dial the phone uh, it's going to be signaled through the data center systems and the 5G core systems in Montreal, and then of course uh, those systems will establish the end-to-end -end connection. So that will be live on stage at the keynote. Now in addition to this, we're also going to go further, and right here in the booth we're showing live demos where we're exercising that firewall that's in Montreal, which is the core of the 5G network infrastructure, and uh, we're going to be exercising some of the application layer uh, functions of that device. And what that looks like is we actually start a business application that is a Zoom web conference between A10's location in Frankfurt, Germany, and in Montreal going through that 5G network. Once we do that, you can see the network traffic jump up dramatically, and you can see the, uh, the bandwidth demands are around 700 kilobits worth of traffic. Now, uh, as the connection between Montreal and Frankfurt is going on, and this is a Zoom web conference system, we ask that the Montreal user actually establishes a um, YouTube video, which is representing uh, some traffic load that shouldn't be running on that network infrastructure, basically a social media type application. And once that gets turned on, we see that the traffic load on that network jumps way up to 24 uh, megabits worth of traffic, over two orders of magnitude faster uh, than just the business traffic on the network. Now, uh, what we then do is we alert our administrator, who then pushes a policy to deny that application running on that network infrastructure through our firewall. Uh, so they push a deny YouTube 
which is the social media applications. And once we do that, we see that both the connections and the bandwidth on that network through our firewall get shunted and come down dramatically. Obviously, exercising the application layer firewall functionality of the product. Uh, very real world implementation of a Kubernetes-based, cloud-based container firewall in a real world network infrastructure. So just to summarize on a few points, we like to also point out is when we show the uh, analytics tool of our um, firewall platform, we see that the YouTube traffic, which is the top line, is orders of magnitude higher in bandwidth requirements than the business applications. So obviously instantiating the, the importance of having an application firewall in the network. So that's what we're showing here at KubeCon 2019. We greatly appreciate you stopping by and uh, giving us the opportunity to uh, speak with you.